<laughs> watch a ton of Sam's games this season, but from what I saw, um, Vian Shao is a really, really, really good lead because of fake out and a lot of other options. He also has Crobat to set Tailwind, which is already faster than every Pokemon that Dig Dogger has, um, except for Prankster Murkrow, which can't like hurt it. Uh, it could just use status yeah. moves. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, especially I think I'm, I'm, a big tr problem. <laughs> I'm reminded of the game with um with Skurn and Rami. Uh, and just how deadly, like, you don't think of Minshaw Crobat as, like, such a good lead, but, like, it covers a ton of bases. And I'm pretty sure Minshaw gets Triple Axel, and that could be pretty big for, uh, for Murkrow. Yeah. Especially <laughs> what we saw from Dig Dogger against Straight Shade in the play-ins. Vacuum Wave will not kill <laughs> the Minshaw like it did uh, Weavile. <laughs> so that's yeah. not, as, not as good. <laughs> And oh, okay, we're we're just going. Uh, we're seeing a different lead, but I was going to say Stacktacus seems to do such a good job against Volcanion, and it looks like he is going to go for the uh, for a trick room. Yeah, there's even if um, Dig Dogger was thought like way ahead and was like, I'm going to run low speeds. There's like no way to. You're not. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anything in the game could underspeed Sakataga. Uh, quick thing to notice: this is not this is not a uh, intimidate Salamence. I, I imagine we might get a a bit of a you know coaching Dynamax Salamence right here, and yeah. Dynamax Salamence is gonna make quick work of of this Minchow. I imagine that Minchow probably has a Focus Sash. Um, I would take it if I was running against uh, Dugger's team, but maybe maybe uh, Scarlet Hammer is something different. I'm trying to think. Do you think this would be crazy? Do you think Dig Dogger might have considered slamming Iron Ball on something? Oh, that that's some insane prep. Let's see what happens. Close combat stash onto the Lucario. Pretty big. Sash and a team. life orb. There is no. There is no sash. On yeah, chat. I'm totally wrong. The oh, sash no. is on. He lives with one HP. Not. I I saw the one and just started talking about the sash. He it's just lived. Not a sash. He just he, lived. He just lived. <laughs> that's really wow. really. I wonder if that's a roll. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, at that point. There's not too many things that, you know, high roll at 99, so. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the boost right there. Wow. I mean, Lucario should still be able to take out Slowbro, and Vianchao is probably not Dynamaxing, right? So Max Airstream is still going to do a lot. You don't have to worry about increasing your speed anymore. Like, Trick Room's up. Your sound yeah. is already faster than everything. You might I'm well imagining I'm imagining the stack attack is about to come in and uh, probably make pretty quick work of some of these Pokemon. Yeah. Do you think it'll switch? Or do you think he'll um, just let the current two go down? I think at this point, you, especially 1 HP Lucario, you, you let it die. Um, and Salamance, I mean, yeah, it's hard to waste your Dynamax like that. Oh, I mean, um, not Dig Dogger. Do you think... Oh. Urnahan will switch either his Pokemon. Oh, just no. I, die and rely on Sack Attack of the Clean. The Vacuum Wave, pretty big here. Yeah. Special I, Defense Boost. Moxie. It, it, it's not terrible. I mean, Hector the Salamence does have a defense boost in both directions. So that's something to consider. He's Dynamaxed. Oh, no. That think, is not a good look. For, I for Hector. I think if I'm in Sam's shoes, I just throw a fairy move at Hector and I swing with Sack Attacka. Yeah, I don't see where Sack Attacka is not Dynamaxing right now. Yeah. Oh, man. Do you think... This is like when you start thinking about mind games a little bit. Um, do you think Hector is max guarding here? 
to stall out Trick Room, that's not a terrible idea. I'm curious how much Evacuate Wave does to stack Attacka. Ooh, that actually, that's big right there. There's no way that Salamence dies in one hit in Sylveon. I just refuse to believe it. No, no. Yeah, not yeah, even yeah. close. Yeah, special oh. defense boost. Ooh, yeah. off the steel move. Gets his, his move. defense boost two and a half times Hector. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's Yikes. got... He's got two full health bonds in the back. Salamence is not taking much damage. He just has to get through Stack Attacka. And we got a Feather Dance coming. Left. Feather Dance is definitely coming out, like you said. I I don't know how Sam comes back. Uh, it's going to end. <laughs> I, it's, it's interesting, you know... Skurn definitely kind of got, you know, he got his Trick Room up, he he got Lucario down to Sash, and yet still, like, it just did not go his way. Uh, the Salamance was was an awesome lead. I mean, I think the main thing about Dig Dogger's team, oh, Quash. Quash is very smart. Wow, That's that did be, nothing. I, I expected Crunch to do a little bit more when I said that, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. But, um, uh, I think my uh, canyons in the back. That's not not bad for um, a last Pokemon. Yeah, is it good though? I mean, I know I know we're expecting a, a special Volcanion, but Max Ruffle is about to hurt a non Dynamax Volcanion. Yeah. Uh, unless we see a Feather Dance here to drop it, another Quash. This is going interesting. For it, huh? I think he he's gonna kill here. This is. This is an issue now. I mean, I, uh, obviously before. Um, <laughs> Markrow's attacking moves. <laughs> it's got to be Sucker Punch, right? Sucker Punch is not going to do anything. This attack nope. attack. This, I, we were really talking up uh, Dick Dog <laughs> and how good uh, that went, but this attack attack has just walled this team. I, I got shown up. I thought he got three mods alive. I thought for sure that... Um, Burkrow is going to have something like Feather Dance. I thought Salvance just would uh, do enough damage to ensure that Sarosh, the Volcanion, uh, figured it out. But uh, Stack Attack is a monster. Once you let that thing go, he just yeah. gets defense boost after defense boost. He started body pressing things. Like, we have our first Sableye reference uh, from previous winner Jefferson. From yeah, previous winner Jefferson. No one's Sableye during my game. A tragic, honestly. Uh, you don't know if uh, if Sableye was mentioned in uh, in chat or not. That in, is in true. I don't think it was, but um, always you know. a chance. All right. If well, you play the recording backwards, you'll hear Sableye. Oh yeah, Ooh. it's like hidden in the like uh, sound finals, like a satanic message. <laughs> Man. I just, I don't know what to think. Like you said, Nate, Dig Dogger's lead went so well. <laughs> I mean, he just blazed through uh, three of Skernahead's Pokemon. Yeah, I, the question is, is, how is he going to stop Trick Room? Do you, it all comes down to maybe, once again. Was the Dynamax Max Darkness plus one a roll? Did he just Ooh. hit the like one out of 16 loser roll and have like a chance to kill and just go again and completely change the outcome of the game? Or Imagine, like, imagine if he actually has a sash and it didn't pop because it was like 2 HP and then this next time he gets it, he gets a better roll, but it just gets down to sash. Oh my goodness. I never even thought about that. I was like, oh yeah, no Sash. But we yeah. don't know. We don't know. You know, if if that happened to me, and if, if I found out game two that there was a Sash, uh, as as good old Hans Niemann said today, uh, I think I'd just walk out into the ocean and uh, not come back. <laughs> oh my goodness. And here we go into game two. Someone's going to get that reference. That is a chess reference. I, uh, I, love, I love chess. I'm I'm not a big fan of Hans Demon. I, I <laughs> he's an I, asshole, of course. He's a huge asshole, but it's a good quote. <laughs> I don't know if. Okay, there's the lead that we were talking about from game one, Crabat Mianchow, which means 
that he's probably not doing trick room anymore, which is crazy. Uh, probably, I mean, you know, sometimes, especially if he if he knows, hey, I don't have a sash. Maybe I got lucky, and maybe I don't want to risk, you know, the same lead. I'll, I'll try something else. I was surprised to not see Crocodile last game. I think that Pokemon's got a pretty solid matchup against Skirnahead's team, but maybe maybe I'm missing something for why that wouldn't work. I mean, at some point you gotta you gotta come back to your your KO leader, your Volcanion, and see what it can do. Yeah, I, I mean Volcanion's probably one of the strongest Pokemon that we have in this league. Um, I, most of like the top tier legendaries and mythicals were banned. So, well, Canyon, I mean, is one of the best ones remaining. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what Lucario is doing here. Uh, we've seen Koji, we've seen Vacuum Koji. Wave, we've follow seen me. Follow Me, I guess. You know, I'm curious if... Uh, Volcanion is uh, planning on maybe setting up. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Does Volcanion have a calm mind or a, a nasty plot like that? That could really turn the tides. So everything that Lucario and Volcanion do has to be under the pretense that Crobat and Bianchel both well outspeed them. <laughs> So I know, like, f follow me and vacuum wave are priority moves, but vacuum wave's not doing Back anything. Back down to the sash, so got much. a tailwind up. Coach, is this for the coaching. Oh my god! The heat wave immediately kills me in shout. I know that Pokemon doesn't have much, like, defensive stats, but... And it had the special defense drop from CC. That it did. Yeah, for sure. You know, getting that coaching off, it's interesting to, to coach a special Mon here. Get your defense boost. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess if you think that defense boost is going to come in handy, uh, especially when um, when Stack Attacker makes an appearance. It could be, and I'm just speculating here. He looked at his four moves and gets Crobat Mian Shao and thought, none of these are good. I could just coach you for the defense boost and pick... Like, it just didn't seem like Lucario was doing much to either of those guys. Hyper Voice almost kills Murkrow. Yeah, to switch in Murkrow when you know Sylveon is, is just here to click Hyper Voice is... It's scary. Maybe he has maybe he has a plan for Lucario later on. Maybe he's waiting to use that follow me. We see the fourth mod. Stack Attack does not make an appearance in this fast Tailwind team. I, um... You always gotta be thinking that Murkrow has got a lot of moves that could go first because of Prankster. Uh, he could get Tailwind up right here to make sure that he's faster the rest I, of the game. Even with Tailwind, but, he won't be faster than Jolteon and Crobat. Yeah, but with Quash, you're gonna be faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Quash. You can, yeah. I, I think if I'm Dig Dogger, I Quash Jolteon and swing a max move into Crobat. Like, oh, for sure. A max seems like the obvious Yeah, go, go down and just say, hey, I wonder if you can beat me 4v1. Especially consider if if Murkrow doesn't die this turn, Jolteon's going to quash the rest of the game. It doesn't matter how fast your base speed is if you move last every turn by default. Yeah. Very true. <gasps> Nate, are you dead? <laughs> what, what are you thinking about? Uh, I may have uh, fallen in Minecraft, but I did not die. This is just a multi-talented commentator right here. He can provide insightful insight and play Minecraft at a sub-average level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good for, for Skurn, though. Um, why why do we think he, he switched it up and brought his fast team? I think... Probably because he saw that his Trick Room team only won by a damage roll at the beginning. 
I think all that is true. A damage roll, max darkness is scary. And thinking like, if that doesn't go off, I've just got stupid stack attack of moving last every turn. Also, this is something I consider every match. If you win in game one, every person you play is going to play around the lead you brought game two, game one for game two. Um, or not every person, but a huge majority of them are like, oh, I lost game one. He's probably going to go the same thing because he won. I have to... I have to figure it out. And if you think that they're going to prepare for your game one team, you can swap it up and maybe throw them, like, throw them off guard. But it's, uh, it's sometimes that backfires. <laughs> We see Skurn talking about changing his Pokemon's moves mid battle. Shocking. Listen, if he hasn't shown all four, he probably could do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure we've all. <laughs> you're going to cheating right here? I'm Mr. not Juice? cheated, but dang, sometimes you're like, man, I wish I could. These four moves suck. <laughs> I will admit that I have changed nicknames between battles before. Uh. I may have fallen in the exact same location. <laughs> right, you gotta cover whatever <laughs> hole in Minecraft you're falling in. It's, it's a stairway, I keep falling off. Or get some feather falling boots, bro. This Put is tough. handrails on your staircase, man. I probably should. I think okay, it's wild it people who play on their phone. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay, we saw exactly, uh, this is what we said immediately, quash Jolteon, throw a move at Crobat. That killing is, I mean, Crobat being able to kind of protect Jolteon from, from the, the rest of those quashes. Uh, Honestly? pretty big. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Think. Skurn might win here. There's, uh, Talk us through it. We got Dig Dogger. He's got 1% left on Lucario. What's that Pokemon doing? Um, we don't even know what it's, it's, its damage move is. It's got Vacuum Wave and then maybe like a more powerful one. It can the follow me is... just to keep damage off of Salamence. Yes, and that's what I'm thinking. If he Vacuum Waves, I think there's a decent chance that Jolteon one-shots Hector with Max Lightning. <laughs> yeah, I think a big thing that Skurn should be looking for is if he has any beneficial max moves that could help him out here. He's already got the train up. Right. Um, it's a Jolteon. It doesn't get anything. It doesn't get a dark move or something. A dark move right here would may secure you the game. Gets pin missile. That's crazy that you know that. <laughs> That's insane. It's double kick. It does get double kick. It gets shadow ball, but that also isn't helpful. That's defense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here's okay, that follow me. Max tight, lightning. So it max darkness. Oh, it crit. It crit. It crit it survived on one. Okay. I mean, you just hope that you live, right? Oh. Wow. Once again, we don't know if Jolteon is wearing Focus Sash. This man, he doesn't <laughs> need... Wait, he doesn't need a sash on anything. He just continues to survive. That is that is crazy. We've seen, once again, Pokemon just living at 1%, not knowing if they're sashed or not. That game was so close. I mean, yeah, one, that was once again wow. coming right down to the wire. I'm noticing there's a trend of it, Dig Dogger getting all of his Pokemon alive against just one of Skirt Ahead's Dynamax Pokemon, and it's still being really close every time. Yeah. So, if you're Skirt, do you do you go back to that? That game that, you know, got you that win? That is... That is tough. 
the age of I, old question. I think personally, I don't think I saw Jolteon doing as much as I, I think you'd like. I mean, it did it did do its job of taking it Canyon, but if it's, it's not, not a mon that you usually want to Dynamax. Yeah, that's that's definitely how I'd put it, and. I just like I don't think getting Tailwind up is all that important against Dick Dogger's team. Um Vien Shao and Jolteon always outspeed it anyway, unless you're really concerned about Sylveon going first. It's it's not that big of a deal. We we see him bringing back uh, the lead mentioned before, you know, right. and we also don't see a uh, a Salamancer out here. This Slowbro, Slowbro, I, I, unless there's a secret taunt or something here, is going to get off a uh, a trick room. This is yeah. this is a bit of a problem. I, if I'm scared ahead, which I'm not, I slam fake out really? on the end now. Um, yeah, <laughs> really, I'm really not him. I slam fake out on the end channel. It's probably going to get followed me. Who cares? It just quick trick room. I don't think Volcanion can kill Slow Rare even if it maxes. I, I was going to say the big question do you even. Oh, it close combated. See, that's what. That's what's something I was a little afraid of. I thought maybe he would double swing. It has max overgrowth. Max I didn't, overgrowth. I didn't think about kill? that. What move is that? I'm solar pull, beam. I'm pulling up Volcanion's list. It gets solar beam. It's solar, solar beam. beam. So it's not even boosted, and it killed a non-stab. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, I, I really got thrown off by that. I mean, I thought you'd see the very standard Volcanion moveset that doesn't have max overgrowth in it. Well, I just didn't think that would kill. Yeah. I mean, Slowbro... I mean... He's probably holding... He might be holding Eviolite to be really tanky. I don't know for sure. Um, he wouldn't get any boosts off of Eviolite. Yeah. He wouldn't. Now Slowbro's fully evolved. Re really? Talking news to our commentator today. I thought Slow King was above. <laughs> and it's a branching evolution. Oh, that is that is. The shelter eats its tail; it becomes a slow bro. The shelter eats its head; it becomes a slow king. That that is tough. This is why I shouldn't be allowed to do commentary alone. That's for you sure. You gotta know your Pokemon lore. Vacuum yeah. Wave does. 40% damage to a stack attacker. Impressive. Yeah. Max Geyser's definitely killing. And Max yeah. Geyser, wow, that's probably going to bring us home. I think this is going to be a sad day for Berserkers and a, a pleasant day for Team Swarm, that's for sure. Alright. Enjoy having your every Pokemon quashed, maybe a Tailwind goes up. All I know is Volcanion's going first every time now. <laughs> yep, Volcanion's going to outspeed Sylveon, I think. Oh, Tailwind. That's... Yeah. Just nothing left at this point. Still Weirdly enough, it. do we think it's strange that Volcanion didn't move second, even after Tailwind? He's not running full speed. I am imagine he's running a vest. Uh, we've seen four separate moves from him. And there's a quash. Still erupted kills, and rain, rain kills. Yeah. Wow. Dig Dogger. From the play-ins has advanced to the second round of the playoffs. Yeah. I, it's great to see Dig Dogger really get, uh, like, figure out what he needs to do. I know he had I think a four and six record in the regular season, which I mean, put him firmly in like the twenties for seeding and that he's come all the way through play-ins, got to play against Sam, who is 
to the fourth seed, right? A very, very yes. strong player. And take him out immediately. It's just, uh... Just crazy to see. I mean, Dick Dogger's having a great run of it. I'd like to see what he's going to be doing next week against either fellow teammate Sephiroth or, uh, or Antony. Definitely. Um, he is he is currently the first uh, play-in contestant to make it through to the second round. Um, maybe we'll see if, if Sephiroth can join him in that category. Yeah. Uh, but big upside, I mean, a tw 25 seed over the four seed. So. I don't think I don't think I, <laughs> I predicted Dig Dogger to make it this far. That's for sure. He should really show me. <laughs> Lots of shade being thrown by our uh, our commentator. Who... I don't think it's shade. I mean, it's just when you have like a four and six team going against uh, an eight and two team, you're just like, dang, it's really going to be an uphill battle for Dig Dogger, especially because <laughs> you have to go through all the people in plans. Um, it's just Dig Dogger is doing great at every turn. I also want to throw out all of his games are so close. <laughs> he barely beat Straight Shade. Um, that Those games against Skurn were really, really close too, but he's finding a way to pull it out in every, <laughs> in every set. He, he definitely is. Um, that Volcanion... Uh, you can see why it was the KO leader. Uh, the way he can, you know, use quash and stuff to to boost it up, and then he's also seemingly recently found this this Lucario set that is very supportive and you know helping him out. So, I think that will do us for uh, for this impromptu recording.